Being a drag queen is a lot tougher than people think it is. <laughs> that it takes two hours to get ready. People think, oh, I'm going to go to CVS and buy some Revlon and put that on and go out and put a dress on. You know, it's a lot more to it than that. Not to mention the physical part. It hurts. <laughs> That's killing when you take your titties off and you take your nuts back and you put your things away. The duct tape is like, you know, like when you buy a lighter and it has that residue and you pull that film thing off of it. Doesn't that sound gross? You have that on your body. The hardest part is really, um, is realizing, you know, I'm a boy that likes boys that got famous dressing up like a girl. And a lot of the guys always ask to, you know, if I wanted a female, I'd go be with a female. And I guess in a sense it kind of makes sense. So it's my situation. I like straight guys. The competitive nature of drag. I'm not in this business to be everyone's friend. I used to look at them as friends, and then I realized it's just just coworkers. And they want your job. They want to be the best. They want to be the star. They want to be the manager. They want to be the one in charge. So they're all coworkers, not your friends. <laughs> well, everybody wants to be the prettiest. Everyone wants to be the best. Everyone wants to have the most people asking, oh, who is this? Or where are you going tonight? Or what are you doing? It's very competitive. It's very competitive for the simple reason because there's a thousand girls trying to get their foot in the doors. Now everybody's just fighting for jobs, see if they, where they can work, so half of them work for free just to be working, which means that they're not going to have you come in and pay you, so then you don't get to work, so if you're not working for free, then you're fucked, and, if <laughs> and there's only so many paying jobs, and if you have the paying job, then everybody looks at you as if you like rob them of something because you're working somewhere else and not working over here for free like everybody else. Anyway, it's hard to make it in Atlanta with... All these girls, and some of them are pretty good. to get on a cast somewhere to win. This one queen was got voted off on this competition and she used her best friend and another one of her friends to go back and lie about the votes, all that, so that he can get back in the competition. That was crazy right there. They'll push you down the stairs so they can be the one in the show that gets paid. <laughs> Like, people love to talk shit. That's the biggest thing. People will say anything they can think of if it will make it sound like they, you can lose some credibility. Kniving, backstabbing. Meanest bitch. And there's some people who talk bad about you. She's the most ghetto white fish you've ever seen in your life. If you don't give her your money, she'll take it from you in the parking lot. You know, they say she's been in jail a couple times. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> but it could be. <laughs> oh, don't tell her I said that. She'll cut me. Her roommate did $300 worth of crack in one night before she went into rehab. I think she's a bitch. <laughs> Suck it. Is that what they wanted to know? Is that what the folks at home wanted to know? I don't think so.